Hi guys, welcome back to Origami Twist. My name is Jen and today's video is all about inspiration. A few weeks ago I did a list of five top websites to go to if you'd like some paper crafting inspiration and I had a really good response to it and I was looking through a couple of other websites that I like to visit today and thought, you know what, I'm going to do another one. So today it's five more websites that I, I use when I need a little bit of inspiration for my paper crafting. So the first one's actually an article, it's not a website. Uh, it is on makezine.com and I'll put the actual link to the article in the description box below. And essentially it is um, an article about an artist who took jello, or jelly as it's called here in Australia, and turned it into a crane. A gelatin based crane. <laughs> so it, like, you know, the paper, paper cranes. I have a video of how to make one if you haven't done one before, but it's the, the paper cranes and they made them out of gelatin sheets and I just it is absolutely fantastic now they do they do mention that they didn't fold it the same way you do with the paper uh, but it's it's really good and it's totally worth having a look at and having a read of the article great inspiration my second inspirational website or online item for today is called fashionbymayhem.com and I love the creativity that this little girl and her mom have. It is amazing. They take all different kinds of paper from wrapping paper to tissue paper and they turn them into dresses which the little girl wears and then her mom takes photos of. And they've done iconic images from uh, past actresses and models and queens and all kinds of things and they just recently did one from the this year's Oscars. I, I just the level of creativity and the artistry that the mum has in her photography and also in helping the little girl design the dresses is just amazing and it's incredibly inspiring and it is definitely out of the box when it comes to paper crafting. So I thought you might like to go and see that. Now if you have an Instagram account, the photos on their Instagram account are uh, out of this world and I'd say even better than on the website, it's easier to see all the different images and the link to their Instagram account is actually on their website. So I'll put the link to the website below so you can go and check it out. Oh, and while you're over at Instagram, I have, I would like to start uh, putting up more Instagram images. So if you're not following uh, Origami Twist over on Instagram, I'll put that link down there, uh, down below as well. Okay, so we've done non-paper related paper crafting. We've done paper crafting you can wear how about paper crafting that's literally out of this world? NASA has come up, or some NASA scientists have come up with origami style solar panels. And essentially, of course, they're not paper either, but they are in the style of origami and they actually fold up and collapse and then they just very artistically open up and create this basically a disc that is a solar panel and it's so creative and such an amazing innovation mirrored, I shouldn't say mirrored, an innovation that is coupled with art and I absolutely love that. My friend Mary Ellen shared it with me so shout out to Mary Ellen. Um, it is a really neat article and that is on the nasa.gov website and I'll of course put a link to that below so definitely check it out. The next uh, inspiration from the internet that I've got for you is about a man named Thomas Witt and he is a paper cut artist. So essentially he takes a scalpel or an X-Acto knife, it's one and the same depending on what country you live in, and he cuts paper into essentially a stencil, but it's such a detailed image that when you look at it from a distance it almost looks like it's painted. And very, very, very incredible talent um, that this man has, and I love his urban, um, almost industrial, in, but yet at the same same time very human uh, images that he creates. So this, I've watched this one video probably five times in the last year or two, and every time I need a boost of how am I going to up the quality of my work, I watch this video. It's really good, and I highly, highly recommend it. My last example today of inspiration on the internet and out of the box thinking is at the website of a young man named, now I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Jake Weidman or Weidman, I think it's Weidman, and he is the world's youngest penman. Now 
he was the young, world's youngest penman. I don't know if he still is, but essentially he, he makes his living with his handwriting. It is absolutely incredible and he is driven um, when it comes to handwriting and making beautiful images with a pen. And I just find him to be very inspiring as with all of the other websites on this video. But he also has something about him that is at once modern and at the same time traditional. And I really appreciate the combination of those two things. So if you check out his website, he's got hundreds of photos. He also has two videos right on the main page of his website. The first one at the top is a TEDx talk that he gave um, on the importance of penmanship, which is really interesting. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, um, you'll find the video that I first found him through. I think Upworthy may have done it. It's a slight documentary on who he is as a person and his art and the images on his website are amazing. You can actually buy them, he has a shop as well. But just, just looking at them really makes me excited to go and craft and create something beautiful. So I hope you've enjoyed that list today, guys, and go and check out some of these amazing artists and creative people. And it sounds like my husband, my husband's working on the patio out back, and it sounds like he's starting up again, so I'll let you go. Uh, please subscribe if you'd like to see videos like this in the future, as well as tutorials and craft organization. And uh, we'll see you on Friday. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.